Hi there, welcome back to Not Another Budget. I'm Nicole, and on this channel, I'm attempting to cash budget my way out of debt and fix several years of financial misbehaviour. So, if that's something you're interested in following along with, please don't forget to stick around and check out the other content that I've created for you on this channel. Now, I'm back with a Sunday slash maybe Monday um, staple, which is my small change savings challenge. This is the only one that I've got running consecutively, I think the word is, throughout February. Any kind of cash stuffing based savings challenges are going to be at the end of the month because there is a lot of pressure on me this month to bring extra income in to cover um, bills, basically, and costs and things. Now, I will be filming straight away after this, ready for tomorrow, um, my finally doing all the maths for my debt trackers, which is just a, a job that I've been putting off. Um, but that at least is done. And then that gives me a nice clean slate because I know that I have paid a lot off to debt over December and January and I want to be able to celebrate those numbers. And at the minute, I don't know how much I've paid off the top of my head, kind of, you know, just casually chatting to you guys. So I want to get that done. I need to get this done as well. So... There we go. Um, for anyone just tuning in or wants a brief refresher, the coppers and the five pences and ten pences go towards the penny savings challenge, which still doesn't have a job at the end of it. And then the 20 P's, the 50 P's. And if they're ever in there, a two pound coin or a one pound coin, they're not this time because I am. I need those coins in my budget um, is going towards the two pound challenge. And um, there is a job for that. It's going to be something like. Um, you know, a house appliance sinking fund type thing, um, a bookcase or a microwave or something, just something little like that. So let me very quickly go through and separate this out because um, we're going to do the two pound challenge first. So I know this is quite counterproductive, but just just go with me um, tipping it out and putting half of it back in. But it's just it just helps me see what I have. Um, yeah, I realise that like... <laughs> don't get me wrong I am in terms of how I am quite uh stressed there's lots going on um outside of kind of YouTube and budgeting um regarding my teacher training lots of developments and things lots of people being sick when I really need them to not be um <laughs> lots of things like that and it is definitely taking its toll oh shiny you're very shiny and pretty. What are you? Oh, this is a child's coin. Okay, well, okay, fine. A um, little bit of a magpie moment there. I was definitely, yeah. So therefore, I kind of felt like I was having a bit of a pity party um, in that video, which was not what I intended um, at all. But <laughs> it definitely served watching it back realizing that i'm having a pity party this is this is not what this is for um to give myself a bit of a kick up the bum so you don't need to hear me whining about the pedanticness of listing i just need to list and that is what i've gone away and done and i have made some sales which is wonderful that i need to package up and sort out um and just need to kind of stick on and a part of me is fighting some things and going there's only so many hours in the day that you have to do things and you you I me need like a good amount of sleep to function I know how I get when I don't have that and um yeah a part of me is fighting um aspects of you need to sleep and you need to get things done so I'm actually going to this afternoon, what I found, weirdly, kind of jumping onto that, if I have a massive list of things to do, I find the act of doing a to-do list and getting things out of my brain quite cathartic. But then what is on my to-do list can be quite stressful and can be quite almost panicking. So it's like, well, how am I going to get this done? Um, weirdly, what I've realised over the past couple of days if, is if I just say, I'm just going to potter around, which for me is just you get up and you have your overall to-do list, but you don't say I'm definitely going to focus on this. So you, you just kind of take... Go where your brain takes you, basically, and you find yourself doing a thing and then before you know it, you've stuck at it rather than hopping from item to item to item um, and setting timers. What I found that these past couple of days, just very quickly, two, four, six, eight, ten, 
8, 10 overall, 50p change. What I found over these past couple of days this weekend, where I was able to catch up on some very much needed sleep and relax and see family, was also that I have somehow chunked a lot down off this list just by virtue of the fact that I'm going to have an easier day and just chunk through and do it. I think if I'd kind of woken up and gone, I'm going to get loads of listing done today, I think the part of me that finds it quite frustrating would very much just override and go, no, it's boring and awful. Um, so I am getting there and I am crawling my way through to half term, it feels like. Um, and then half term will be equally busy because I have to go through and just basically tear through the house. Um, both finding things to list and then organising and sorting out as well. And that is because I, now that I know which school I'm working in and where that is in, in relation to where I live now, I, it's something I've discussed before, the, um, the implications of actually living in a high cost area and also then, I've put the 50p in there, haven't I? Um, and then also you know do you then have to pay for a cost like pay for moving costs and things as well and a lot of uncertainty around my house the fact that my contract is up in like five months time um meant that basically i just bit the bullet emailed the letting agents and went okay i'm trying to plan ahead um i have no intention of breaking the rental contract early can you let me know if the landlord intends to or has thoughts of selling the property or would like a new tenant? And if so, can you let me know um, so that I can plan accordingly, but I'll, I'll still stay. Um, alternatively, uh, what would need to happen for me to renew for another either one or two years to see out the two years of my early careers teach training, um, which I'd like to do staying at this one school? Um what do I need to do to do that? I accept that there's going to be a rental increase because it has been held for two years well below market value, rental market value, um, et cetera, et cetera. So um, on the back of that, uh, they've confirmed that obviously renewing the contract would result in a rental increase. No figure has been discussed. discussed and um, they're going to come and do just a general kind of property inspection um, in two Fridays time. So the Friday of the half term, which has basically meant that um, it's definitely put the brakes on in terms of me organising, listing stuff, clearing space, getting things tidied up and put away properly. All the things I've been leaving, unfortunately, that's coincided with a PGCE deadline in a week's time. In fact, two deadlines on the same day in a week's time and the last kind of very stressful week of school because my um, mentor who oversees my teacher training within this school and helps me hit certain deadlines because I need to teach his classes um, is not expected back. Um, he's off sick again or he's staying off sick um, and he's not expected back until after half term and I if I were um, potent, if I were wanting to be cynical, I would look at how unwell he is and go, I can't see him being back in February at all. But that is obviously not my call to make. I'm not a doctor. Um, and he may equally try and force the matter and come back early, um, which, again, is probably going to do him more harm than good. But that is an awful amount of stress as well. So it basically means there's me and the head of department and the DT technician just kind of there holding down, holding down the fort which has been quite disruptive to my training as well, particularly. So this has been rumbling on in the background now for by next Friday, it would have been four weeks, which is a long time in the life of a teacher trainee. <laughs> Let me count this up very quickly. So I have got 10 pences in two Ps, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Nice even number. 30, 40, uh, 50. 60, 70, 80, 90, one pound, one pound ten. And I believe I can do that all in one go. So I shall do that as a total. Where are you? I want to do you in the orange. We're going to alternate month on month because I'm that kind of person. Um, so, yeah, so there has been a lot going on. Um, 
which has just kind of led to more tiredness, more exhaustion. Um, and it is just having a, a general effect on, I would say, kind of motivation and enjoyment. Um, thank you all so much for like your congratulations on the teacher on landing the um, interview. It is, um, yeah, it's a massive like, like, OK, that's in the bag. I don't have to worry about it. There is the the upcoming worry of, OK, I have no fixed income at all in in August. My um, teach training bursary, I received the last one in July. And then if I don't apply for slash don't get accepted onto a master's of education course, I potentially need to cover the bills in September as well, because obviously you're paid at the end of the month for the month you've just worked. If I complete them, if I apply for the master's and I'm accepted onto the course, then I believe that student loan payment, a bit similar to how it has been structured now in terms of the three large payments, um, that would come through in the beginning of September and that would do its intended job of covering my September bills for me. So I would only have to worry about August. But worst case scenario, I've got two full months to manage, um, which is is between kind of three and a half thousand to four thousand pounds that I would need to find now there is the 5k binder which I am stuffing but if I you know if it has to be used for living expenses and bills then it's used for living expenses and bills that's fine but then I am then technically back to square one in terms of needing to save and start again for them um and am, am I then kind of prolonging the okay well I've got another master's um loan coming in termly so I'll just do my savings out of that and postpone that again I would like to get to the point where I can monthly save um you know a bit towards it and and everything be covered and everything be fine so I do have an awful amount of kind of financial planning and aims and goals that I need to tweak and change as well as everything else so when I finish with you and I finish recording I am actually going to um, do a timetable for myself for next week that's so that I don't end up cramming all of this tidying and organizing into my half term and wearing myself out and then actually as well can I can I give myself a reasonable amount of time so if I have three hours spare in the evening do I do you know one day three hours on making up business stock and another day three hours on the house or do I literally go an hour of PGCE an hour of business stock and an hour on the house I don't know I need to weigh that up and see how it goes um the good news is I'm online only training tomorrow, um, whereas normally I would have to go into my training centre. Um, we're moving to online only, which means it's a day I don't have to travel. So, you know, great saving on petrol there. But then also I can just kind of stick the, the, the video on in the background um, and keep one eye on it and then carry on, you know, doing and organising. This change is going to roll over to next week. Um so yeah, so again, again, it's that focus on like being at home, which has felt, although that's my kind of goal and I've kept it in mind this whole time, that has felt quite difficult to do because there's this like panic and this worry of I don't have enough time and I've got everything I need to get done and there's so much that I need to be doing and I'm not going to get everything in that I need to and how can I sort this out? How can I get this done? And I'm trying to like avoid that and go, well, actually, no, these are all really manageable things. You just need to take, I as an I just need to take like two minutes to just breathe and calm down and assess my options. Um, so that is very much kind of tick the filming off the list um, and then kind of see and get everything done, get my vintage orders packed up and ready to go to the um dispatches various kind of whatever couriers they're going to where because there's a couple that I use um get those all sent off tomorrow and then just keep on top of that and keep that rolling in because realistically I'm not going to see that money for a week so yes <laughs> um the good news is Bowie is fine he's out there trying to pick fights when he needs to not be picking fights because he's got a weak heart and their uh, heart says no and me mummy says no as well um but yeah that has been small change savings challenge uh 11 pound and 10 pence saved which is not too bad considering that was all just on small change and we're just tipping kind of closer ideally i want both of these done within a year this one definitely i don't want to be working on this for 365 days so 
keep on ticking through with this one and this one and I will get there. I will see you all tomorrow with the long awaited how much I've actually paid off to debt um, across both December and January. And I will update the likes of these debt trackers here for you as well. So I'm going to love you and leave you. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and all of the wonderful YouTube jazz that is free and massively helps out this channel. And I will see you all next time. Bye bye for now.